Oh, so good. How are you feeling about it? It's excited, but I'm also terrified. Better than warding. Better than warding. Better, better than warding, yes, definitely. You're feeling better about it? Uh, nah. No? No, I don't know. It's less windy. It is a lot less windy, but it's a lot more distance. Twice as far. Yeah, we got to hustle today because uh, that tide's going to stop going out soon and start coming in, which will be make it heaps hard. So we worked hard to get here early, but I reckon we'll still have to paddle against a bit of it at the end. And it's nearly a spring tide. And I've never come out here on a spring tide. A lot of people say, you know, don't do it. But I think you can still use it to your advantage. And on a calm day with the wind calm, uh, you can still do it safely. So yeah, very keen. Tide is starting to change around now, so just slack for a little bit, but then it's going to be coming up against the sea. As it comes down here, it's going to want to push sort of this way. So what I'm to do now is actually aim just sort of yeah left of Cape Willoughby in St Albans and see how much it starts to pick up. We might aim yeah maybe straight out to start with and then we'll adjust from there. Good. So we took the the moon's near the full moon which means this tide is really strong. So the morning tide's a stronger one than the afternoon. But yeah and yeah effectively we really just gotta get on water without moving. And we got this opportunity to do some more paddling. They're up for KI, I believe, but it's pretty rare that you would start doing KI this early. Hopefully, I enjoy it and appreciate it. It's going well. That is uh, first peeing in a kayak experience uh, every day. One litre. One litre. Very impressive. <laughs> but it's been two hours, we've done 10Ks, and we're a smack bang in between that and that. We've been heading out this way, and once the tide fires up, we're going to cut in. Just gaining that sort of lateral distance and then head in. But it's a glorious day. Sensational. So yeah, just keep heading towards the Cape, Eliza. What's that? You drifting a bit. Huh? <laughs> He's just like... Uh, why? What's it doing? Are your rudders not working? Yeah, right. Oh, I'm sure you get used to it. No, nah, you're all over the shop. <laughs> you sure it's even working? Are you sure it's even working? Pedaling that way, I might start to angle this way with the hope that we hit Cape Coots and then along the bay. Because yeah, that tide's only going to get stronger and stronger for the next two, two to three hours. Yeah. 
so we go, three hours and 14 k's. Three quarters of the way, another hour and a bit probably. Uh, yeah, far you come. That looks way further away. I've been crapping on about the tides all day and blah blah blah. But look at that speed. Three k an hour. Right now. I'm only going that way. So, I'm glad we gained so much ground. And yeah, now she's starting to get into full swing. This tide, we're heading obviously this way, but we are traveling that way. So yeah, <laughs> even though it's a calm day, do not be deceived. It's trying to take us out there. We're trying to go there. And we'll settle if we can hit there. We're happy with that for now. So yeah, it's, I mean, it's just been magic out here, but it's very strong. Oh, so we're now about to enter the strongest part of the tide and just here, it's literally flowing like a river. Look at it cruise past. Oh yes. So damn close, and it's all of a sudden looking exceptionally difficult just to make it there. This is hooting. Hey, uh, four hours and uh, ten minutes, and uh, you cross the ditch. Bloody well done. And now, the hardest part of the whole entire day paddling up a river. If we sort of go around it, we might just keep just zigzagging out in the middle of the bay for the next three hours. So I think we'll just go from cove to cove and just jump our way up until we hit the beach. Once we hit the beach, it'll be a lot better. But yeah, you can understand what's happening. All the water's flooding in and then slamming into these cliffs. Yeah, and then squeezing out that way. Hey, buddy. I think we got past the worst of it, well done. It's definitely uh, less, less flowing like a river in here than... It was oh, it was just... terrible. Um... Yeah, it was pretty much like a river. Yeah. And then once we got close to the rocks, we were like, oh, not too bad. Yeah. Twenty-three k's, and they've done it, buddy. Well done. <laughs> first, uh, first years that I know, slash one years, do a kayak kayak crossings. <laughs> All right, just gonna do a bit of um, rescue and skills practice, and then we'll call it a day. I reckon. You have one tow rope. We put these onto. Now, you flip your bike right way up. Now, I want your left foot. My left foot? Left foot. Like and your left arm to reach over. Get comfortable. Alright. Chuck it on. Oh, yeah. Give yeah. us the golden arch. <laughs> yeah, nice. Now, swing that one over. Good. So look at the tail of the boat, the uh, stern. Chuck that one in, good. Oh, the golden arch! <laughs> Keep the weight on the paddle float. Yeah. That way you don't do a golden arch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving you the satisfaction of me doing that. <laughs> on camera! <laughs> Got dull. <laughs> <laughs> Rice, salmon, chud, corn, and 
black bean. Yeah, look. And the Hungarian hot salami. Oh, it's on three chilies. Mm. Wow. <laughs> See, I hope Cash is proud. Spicy. <laughs> it's nearly 9am now and I'm just taking it slow because we don't need to start paddling till 10 to get out of there and then at 11 the incoming tide. It's going to hopefully help us get in. But yeah, it could be 5 hours or so. To get home today, maybe more, five or six. So really test them, really make you earn it. But it's always a pleasure to be here. All right, thought I'm getting ready. <laughs> nice. I'm tired. The tide will be changing soon, so that's good. Um, first objective today is we head over to Cape St. Albans, maybe go around the corner a bit. We can do the veto on our way there. And then from there, you can see the wind's eased off a bit now, which is good. We'll try and jut out a bit. And, and sort of over there and have quite a ferry glide angle to catch the tide in. Try and hit the coast just before Blowhole Beach and suck our way around into fishery. And really, just be mentally prepared for five to six hours on water. It could take a while, <laughs> who knows. But that's just what we gotta do and to make it back to the bus. I just simply can't go on. Let out about five to seven meters on either side. Ah, now I feel better. Ah. Nice. So we gotta catch these things, tick them off, part of the assessments. That was pretty good. Under two minutes. Sick. Yes, but the tide literally just switched on. It's like sucking. This is about as far as we make it, I think. We're gonna hit a tide race. Look, I'm barely paddling. 7k an hour. At least water. Oh, it's just standing up. As the water gets squeezed over the shallow water. <laughs> Pretty exciting. It's funny, it just turns on like a switch, eh? <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad you get to see it after all the crap and on I've done. Ooh! 8k an hour. Oh, nah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Pretty amazing. And then like, 100 meters over there, dead flat. So yes, you do need to be mindful of the tides around KI and Baxter's Passage, that's for sure. It's the difference between success and failure. There you go, intro to tide race.
they communicated. <laughs> Just trying to see if we're registering any lateral movement while we sit, while I sit. But no, it's... Not much yet. For the next hour, the card should be in full swing. And what we'll hopefully do is we'll get in towards blowhole there, block out the wind and just travel the tide up to the fishery. It's a cunning plan anyway. Well, we just crossed over the shoal into this from smooth to spiky water. And all of a sudden, once again, 3k an hour. Literally, look, the bubbles aren't moving. And it's going that way. So we're sort of aiming at that road for now, that's our angle, and we're gonna into fisheries over there. It's just <laughs> bending a bit of minds how strange it is to paddle on such strange angles and travel directions you're not feeling. It feels like we're gonna go right of Blowhole Beach, but we're actually missing it a fair bit to the left. I need to be out here, there's Blowhole Beach, and just talk about, well, we're missing Blowhole Beach, we're not gonna make that. And just riding it off, <laughs> even though it looks like you do it, but <laughs> yeah, it's just starting to flow like a river. <laughs> right, so it's saying that I'm looking at the coast there. That's saying I'm going that way. Really cool. At 4k an hour. Slightly different beast now. Wind's coming in straight from there, but the tide's going that way as well, so wind gets tired. Currently the tide is winning. Blowhole's now over there, it's slipping away. Fisheries in there. I'm paddling at that and heading that way. So still a bit of a little arm wrestle to Get there, but we are winning the arm wrestle just. We're gonna make it. I think we've got four Ks left. Ridiculous. Very gliding though. I reckon 45, 50 degrees plus. Easy. Yeah, I was blowing like 15 knots. Straight against the tide. The tide's still winning. So I'm actually drifting into the wind. Unheard of. Boy, just trying to hit the coast. Well, bloody congratulations, yeah. You've crossed. So happy. So just done 26 today, 49 for the trip. Good stuff, 49 k's, two days. Yay. And a bloody backstairs passage crossing. Yeah. That don't come easy. <laughs> because hopefully you have a really nice sense of satisfaction and accomplishment after. Oh. <laughs> yeah? You're gonna do it wrong. Uh, I don't know. I missed it. Huh? Okay. I missed it. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't ready on you. <laughs> that was a good one though. Just yeah, do it again. It felt good. Three, two, one. Do it again. Do it. Oh! <laughs> 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 Loaded boat, Nick. <laughs> Hello, dear boy. <laughs> Where are you? Here we go. Uh, <laughs> how's the smile? Fantastic. Whoa. 
Good win. Oh, no. Oh, well played. There you go. Well done. Get in there. There we go. It's like glorious in here. <laughs> it looks so much nicer. <laughs>